Okay, so in this question, a student of mass M is in an elevator which is accelerating downwards with an acceleration A. Okay, the elevator is moving down with acceleration A and there is a person inside the elevator. What is the reading on the force meter? Okay, fine. So this person is standing on a machine that is recording his weight kind of. So what is the reading on that? So this question belongs to the topic named uh, pseudo force. Do understand this thing. This is a very important concept. Pseudo force is a fictitious force, which actually does not uh, act, which is actually not present there. But the effect of the force is visible. The effect of the force is found. For example, um, we are in a bus, we are traveling in a bus, let us say, and we are just standing there and immediately the driver applies the brake. So what happens is I would be pushed in the front. I am pushed in the front. This is the effect of the force, but am I really pushed in the front? There is no force on me. There is a force on the bus. The bus driver has applied the brakes on the bus. So definitely there is a force on bus, but there is no force on me. So I am having the effect of force that I am just getting pushed in the front. This is the effect of force is there, but there is no force directly acting on me. So I can say this is a typical case of pseudo force. When does it act? It acts whenever a body is traveling inside a vehicle. It could be a car. It could be a bus. It could be a satellite. It could be an elevator. It could be anything. And whenever there is some acceleration of the vehicle, there is a pseudo force. The vehicle is accelerating. There is a pseudo force. Now, what are the characteristics of pseudo force? Pseudo force is like, let us say they are saying, they are saying that the elevator is moving down with an acceleration A. It means there will be a pseudo force on the mass M in the upward force in the opposite direction. For example, I have taken the example of bus. There was a force on bus in the backward direction, but I am experiencing a force in the forward direction. So pseudo force character number two is it is always acting in the opposite direction to the direction of the acceleration actually taking place. So this elevator is going downwards. So I would be experiencing or the student will be experiencing a pseudo force in upward direction. So the force is MA and there is a downward force here, which is MG. So there is this lift. And this mass is having a weight MG and there is an pseudo force that is acting in the upward direction, which is MA. Where M is the mass of the man, it's not of the lift, but A is the acceleration of the lift. A is the acceleration of the lift, M is the mass of the man, mass of the body, not the lift. So what is the net force now acting downwards because person is still standing on the floor. So the net F net is equal to Mg minus Ma. So this is the net reading of the weight on the force meter. So where is the option? Yes, the option is B. So this is how we do. All the questions of pseudo force, it can be a car. Uh, I can give you the example, like there is a pendulum here. So if car starts accelerating forward, it will go backward. And similarly, if there, it is uh, rotating somewhere, there is a centripetal acceleration, there will be a centrifugal force there. And it acts in the satellites, it acts everywhere. Okay, so all the best. Bye.